Next in line is someone who is known for his calm demeanor and polite behavior. He was not only the faculty advisor for the chemical engineering students, but also the foundation program coordinator for this batch. He is surely one person who knows our BTEC students right from the very beginning. Without further ado, I would like to invite Professor Kabir Jasuja to share his thoughts and memories with us. Please join me in welcoming him. Good evening, everybody. So finally, the day has come, and you all are flying out from here. It's very difficult for me to believe. Uh, I remember around four years ago, I was in a similar position. I was uh, giving a speech, uh, welcoming you all in the foundation program, and now I'm here, uh, bidding you farewell. When any batch uh, leaves the college, it's a very emotional moment for all of us. And so this is a very emotional moment for many of us sitting here. And I know that uh, the past four years, uh, they have been very special to you. I should say that uh, these past four years have been very special to us also. Uh, this was the time when uh, we were building up. We moved to this new campus. So many new things happened. And I should say that, uh, and I can say this on behalf of uh, all the faculty members here, that uh, we are blessed to be a part of your journey. It is just amazing to get uh, so nice students as you. Uh, we, we are very lucky to have students like you. Really, really thank you for being so nice students. So, so this beautiful journey, uh, it is coming to an end. But uh, I want you all to understand that uh, this is not an end. This is the beginning. And a uh, lot more will be coming your way. And uh, there's a lot of learning that uh, you all have to do. As you know that uh, learning is a lifelong process and I want you all to keep learning. Whatever we all are here today, uh, we have learned uh, from several incidents in our lives. And uh, I was thinking, what should I say in this speech? And I thought that uh, let me share uh, one incident uh, that has made a, that made a big impression on me. I thought I'll share that with you. Perhaps it will help you in your lives. So this incident happened uh, when I was in my 11th class and uh, I was preparing for JE. So I had to go for my coaching. And uh, the coaching classes, uh, they used to begin at uh, 4 p.m. And uh, my school used to end at uh, 2.30 p.m. And my school was actually near my coaching. So rather than going back to my home, uh, I used to go to my uh, uh, papa's father's office. He used to work in a uh, post office. He was a postmaster. And uh, sometimes I used to just uh, uh, sleep in the small canteen there for about an hour or so. And then I used to wake up and I used to have tea with all the people. They used to have tea at 3.30 p.m. And uh, that was a time when uh, like, uh, I, some people were working, some people were having tea. And a lot of people used to come that time. I started observing uh, something peculiar. There were times in the year when there were a lot of people standing outside the, the counter. So my father was actually a cashier. He used to sort of hand over cash to people who were coming. And uh, there were times when uh, there was a lot of rush. So many people just standing out. And I could see that uh, several staff members, they, were, they had not even taken their lunch. Sometimes the people outside, uh, they used to be quite angry. Sometimes they were aggressive. And uh, one time I asked uh, my father that, how are they talking like this to you? Uh, how are you able to maintain uh, such a calm demeanor to, towards them? So there was actually a lady who was uh, talking uh, very aggressively. So my father just told me one thing that uh, uh, the lady is actually coming to uh, seek pension. So those days, uh, there were internet banking was not there as much. So she was coming to seek her pension. And uh, my father told me that perhaps uh, it's, it's a big financial crisis for them. and. Uh, this is a, this is, they are in big need of money. And if they miss this day, they have to wait for an entire day for the, the salary. Just telling this fact, uh, it changed my perspective completely. Not only towards that lady, towards so many people who were standing there. 
and uh, that was a big lesson for me that uh, whenever we are talking to someone when we should try to sort of understand more about them if we really really uh, try to sort of understand them listen them uh, it really makes a, a big impact we make a place in their hearts that experience has remained with me and when you are going into your lives when you are stepping uh, outside world many a times uh, you will have to take this uh, position uh, so in this particular case the staff members not just my father so many staff members there they used to talk so nicely to the people so they were making a choice there and they were trying to stabilize the situation many nobody was asking them to make this choice so many a times uh, you will have to make this choice you will have to take the choice of being kind towards people nobody will ask you to make the choice but uh, i feel that uh, based on the experience that you have got at iit gandhi nagar i feel that you will be able to make that choice i'll end my just uh, speech by saying uh, that uh, you all are leaving iit gandhi nagar but uh, you can still be in touch and there are so many ways in which you can keep contributing uh, as, as shubham shared and as your senior batch has done they have instituted a scholarship i don't think there is a precedent to that in india it's such such a nice feeling such a nice thing to have where the where students are contributing back um, i just wanted to share that uh, the amount of impact that you can make just by donating small amounts is very big i still remember that when i was in my second year i got a similar scholarship and with that scholarship i still remember i purchased a book and as you know books can change lives so you never know the amount that you are contributing it can make so significant change in the lives of students so um, the, as you are going out of the out out to the world there's so many things uh, that uh, you're going to come across your experience at iit gandhi nagar will help you in dealing those things there's so many things that you will find that uh, can be improved at iit gandhi nagar i suggest that come back to us tell us that for example if you are studying in a university to come across that there is a really nice building out there this building should be at iit gandhi nagar come and approach professor harish ask him that uh, can we make a building like this at iit gandhi nagar if you come across a very good academic program come and approach professor amit prashant keep keep in touch with us uh, and keep contributing back to iit gandhi nagar and i should say that we'll really miss you a lot thank you thank you so much yes.